Hey there friends, I hope you are doing great. This is gonna be a group reading for all you water signs. So if you are Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, this one is for you. Now, if you haven't been to one of my group readings before, please understand that all not all messages are going to resonate and that is just fine. And if you are looking for a private reading, please don't forget to check me out at my website, kellyfergusonreadings.com. I'm also gonna be extending the, um, the Peaceful Days discount for just a little bit longer so you can get yourself a private reading at a discounted price. And as well, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so I can continue to offer readings for all of you. So, water signs, what is going on? Whoa, I don't know if you saw that fly right out of the deck, but you know that's my style. Okay, flying free. Here's the overall energies for you guys. Wow, so what have you started? What have you let go of? Hmm, there's definitely something going on for you guys. I unfurl my wings and fly. So with this flying free card, this is really talking about you guys letting go of some stuff that has been going on for you in the past and really free yourself up to either try new things to go the distance to do things in a different way you're really releasing some stuff and you know what that is totally the flavor of what's been going on for everybody right now okay good for you water signs now let's see what else is going on I want to see from our angels and ancestors <laughs> Wow, wise one, grow within your current situation. Be committed to the task, it'll pay off. Look at this, wise one. I love this card, it's so gorgeous. The crow, the owl, okay? And whenever I have these winged show up, they're always talking to me about positive change and transformation, but also using your wisdom, knowledge, and discernment to pick the path that is right for you, okay? So with the current situation that we're all in now with quarantine and stuff like that, certainly it's hard to focus on what you need to do, but maybe that's exactly what needs to happen. Maybe this is the slowdown that you have needed that so many of us have needed to focus inward and do the work. Now we talked about that a little bit last week, so we'll see what comes up this week, okay? Because definitely you guys have either done some inner work and let some stuff go and you are, let's see, learning from yourself and being willing to move on and continue your growth. That is awesome. Okay, so Considering that there's a full moon, I think what we should do is shed some light on the information that may not be too clear to you because that's what happens with the moon, right? The moon doesn't illuminate everything. So let's talk about the past for just a brief moment and then see what is coming up for you in the, in the near future that you don't see. Yes. Okay, totally. So I've got crystals in focus. So you know how we talked about flying free and this wise one being committed to the task? It is about focus. It is about really connecting down to yourself in terms of what do I need to push and work on and what do I not need to work on at all, okay? See this card here? The amethysts really say a lot to me about purging information because amethysts are fantastic at removing negative energy and replacing with positivity, transmuting that energy. However, the name of the game here is focus. And what that means is this is not a easy job. This is an inside job. So unless you're willing to go in and do all the work, and this is emotional work as well, I can tell because of the water here. See this water, how it's all kind of choppy, all right? This tells me that you have been emotionally reeling in the past or maybe up and down and not being able to figure out how you feel about a current situation or about a situation. So as a result, what did you do in the past? You slowed things down. And we've seen this showing up right now as well, right? Everyone's being slowed down right now to spend some time in words with this quarantine situation and figure out what's my path, what should I be doing? So this is totally making sense for what's happening for you and coming up to today. Things have been slowed down so you can look into this reflection and really see what is it that I've been doing and where do I need to move forward to? Awesome. Okay, so let's talk about the energies we don't see. What's coming this way? Water signs. What's coming their way that they don't see? What will the full moon bring? What will the full moon bring? Okay, water signs here. Okay, <laughs> I'm seeing a theme, friends. I'm seeing a theme. Okay, cave and sanctuary. This came up for some of you last week, I think. This definitely just came up for the fire signs as well. Cave and sanctuary. We are staying home. We are keeping ourselves busy. We are doing the inner work that we need to do. We've been keeping these fires burning at home. So this is telling me that you guys might be starting to find interest in activities that you haven't done in a while. Now, certainly activities might be limited if you are at home, but this might tell me that that you're focusing on, I don't know, um, 
cooking, drawing, you know, knitting, whatever those cool things are that you've put down for so long and you've always wanted to get to it, now is your time and you've been focusing on this stuff. Have you maybe not been moving forward with these things because you've been kind of worried about all the other things that are going on around you and stuff like that, okay? If so, it's time to slow things down. Friends, take this chance while you can. I understand there's a lot of scary things that appear to be happening outside of your household, but right now you need to be concerned with what's going on in your household and in here for you, okay? It is time to have sanctuary and time to come back to yourself. Now, what else is coming up? Childhood and innocence. This came up for you guys last week as well. Some of you might have some childhood traumas that you need to purge. Some of you are also trying to go back into a place where you feel childlike. What I mean by that is safe. Um, think about when you were a child, maybe some of the biggest problems that you had when you were a child was what's dinner and when's it going to be. So you're trying to come back to this place of <sighs> letting it go, feeling calm, not feeling this heavy burden of responsibility on you and taking this time out. Wow, friends, this is exactly what the doctor ordered, okay? No pun intended. Um, okay, so considering we're gonna be spending some time by ourselves, some of us are gonna be working on childhood traumas and things that need to come up. Um, also, this means, okay, I'm getting another message, and also for some of you, this means that um, some of you are taking care of children in the home. This might be family or extended family in some cases to help out with family members. I do feel that for some of you, you're feeling a little bit of heat in the kitchen in terms of a little bit of stress with too too much, because um, children are really needy. Children can be very um, busy, and sometimes when you're at home, you don't get a break, okay? So that message is for some of you as well. So with regards to cave, sanctuary, and childhood, what is going to be on the other side of this full moon for these water signs? What's going to happen if we take this time to ourselves and focus inwards on that childhood stuff, either feeling childlike or doing our childhood trauma type work? What can we expect to come around the corner for all these water signs here? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. So just what the doctor ordered. Full moon and completion. This represents the end of one cycle and the beginning of another cycle. So this tells me 100% this work that you're doing and possibly some purging work, you're gonna be able to let it go. You're gonna be able to look at this and say, okay, I get it now. I don't have to hold on to that stuff anymore. Those old rules that I thought this whole system was applied on, or maybe for example, when we're talking about childhood, maybe you have an epiphany about, well, hmm, okay, my expectation of my parents and my relationship with my parents should have been, was like this, but really there shouldn't have been an expectation there. Really, it should be changed like this. So this tells me that you basically come, what's that saying? You come full circle and you really, <laughs> and you really start to see the error in your ways or how you can correct your perceptions moving forward to put yourself in a much better place. What's this gonna line up for? Mountain and strength. You're building a new foundation for yourself in terms of where you build from, okay? I don't have to build my foundations and my future based on the stories that I was told that I had to do this or had to do that. My relationships need to look like this. My job has to look like this. All of this stuff is changing and you get to decide what your strengths are. And the only way you're gonna find that out is by going in and doing that work, which you do. This is amazing. It's validating that the work that you're putting in now is going to pay off. So friends, do it, okay? Do it. Now, I do have another card that's coming up, okay? Now, don't let this scare you, but it's a heads up. Tsunami and wake up call. See that full moon showing up again? Uh huh. So, what this also tells me for you, water signs, is that you might have either other people as a result of you putting down some new strengths and deciding what you will and won't do. You might have some people throw some drama your way because they don't like the choices that you're making. Perhaps they are not included in the choices you're making or just doesn't go in alignment anymore. There's so many times that we do things in a certain way and then when we stop doing what other people want, then the drama shows up, okay? So what this is telling you is don't be afraid to make the decisions that you need to make because even though some people might kick and scream about what, the, what choices you are making, this is about you. This is about you flying free, being that wise one, right? And going forward with things that work for you and not lowering the things that you need to do or putting yourself on the back burner to help other people. Friends, this sounds like a really fantastic reading to me, okay? This is really telling me that if you put in the work, you are going to get exactly what you want. If you enjoyed this reading, please don't forget to give me a like, a share, and a subscribe. And please join me next Wednesday and I will be doing more readings for you.
Thank you so much, my water signs.